All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, that will honor our elders and apostles of great meals and that do her well, and citations and blessings to you, Akim, that I push in this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. And, um, today, I just want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, The Lord Did Not Come to Save the World. Right? And what I mean by world is the entire planet, man. Every nation of people on the planet Earth. The Lord did not come for them. All right, and the Lord I'm speaking of is uh, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right, which his name is Yahweh Shai. All right, in the, in the ancient Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shai. That's what he was being called when he was on the scene, walking the planet Earth. His name was Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Christ. All right, that name came, uh, um, you know, that letter, the letter J, came in the uh, 1600s. All right, so how's his name, Jesus, man? Okay. Anyways, that's Greek. Jesus is, is a Greek title. Christ is a, is a Greek title, man. That is an idol. All right? Our Lord and Savior, who came only for the nation of Israel because he didn't come for the whole world. All right? He did not come for the whole world, man. His name was Yahweh Shai. Okay? And hey, I'm just jumping to this and just prove how he only came for one nation of people. One nation, man. And that is the nation of Israel. Because uh, this is pretty much sparked by... Uh, conversation I had with this dude at work, you know, he's like, because we we were talking about uh, um, our manager or whatever, man, and our manager is supposed to be some some pastor. This is a fucking joke. <laughs> that dude's a damn joke, man. But you know, he's supposed to be some some pastor or whatever. And um, the guy was like, yeah, but he he be hating on uh, this this he be hating on these people and this people and all that. But God came to save everybody. God love everybody. And then I'm just like. Alright, okay, dude. Trying to change trying to change the topic and get shit cause man that shit vexing me. It's like Jake is just so fucking stupid. Like, man, our people are, are are gone. They're gone, man. They don't know the scriptures, they don't know the Lord. They wanna save everybody. Air don't nobody wanna save you, but you wanna save everybody. Don't nobody love you, but you love everybody. That's a that's a damn problem with our people, man. And that's why they're gonna get stumped out, and that's why heavy judgments are gonna come upon you for thoughts like that. Because these nations are not your friends, man. And the Lord has enemies, which are all these nations. I'm, I'm going to just jump into it. I'm going I'm to start with the Psalms uh, 83. Because they just don't understand that that hey, there are people who are against us. There are people who are against the Most High. Going all the way back in ancient times, man. The Lord has always had, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, hatred for these other nations. Especially Esau Edom He has always had hatred for these other nations Always took down these other nations Always uh, uh, judged these other nations man When they touch the nation of Israel Why is that? When you, when you touch this one particular people Why do you get jacked up? Why do you get fucked up? Because the Lord loves this one particular this one particular people Jay, DJ, hey, Jake just does not understand the scriptures They don't understand the Lord man So I says Romans 11 and verse 7 Hey, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Only the elect are going to get this. Everybody else is just in utter darkness, man. Psalms 83 and verse 1 says, Keep not thou silent, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. Because we want the Lord to rise up against all of our enemies. All, all, all of these heathen nations, man, that have their hands on us. It says, For lo... Thine enemies, all right, thine enemies, that's a key word, make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. All right, those are the two key words, hate and enemies. These people hate and are the enemies of Yahweh Shemal Shai and are the enemies of his people, and they hate his people, man. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. So they are taking crafty counsel. They're coming together, thinking of ways to keep us down, thinking of ways to keep us oppressed in the hood, eating fucking garbage and pork, hot chips all day every morning. The 50 cent juices that you drink that, that deteriorates your teeth, deteriorates your brain, and you want to give it to your little kids, man, and all that. Yeah, these, these are hey, these heathen nations are doing this, man. Setting up. Uh, smoke shops in your hood So you can backwood yourself into the grave You know Since they have said come And let us cut them off from being a nation So 
these people that I'm gonna that, that's gonna that's gonna be listed in verse six, I right, want to uh, uh, cut us off from being a nation, take crafty counsel against us to keep us down, to cut us off as a nation, man. That's why they took away the the name of the nation, the the name of uh, uh, Yashra Allah from us, because that's what hey, that's our true name, that's our true heritage. You are Yashra Allah, the 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 nation of Israel, man. The chosen people of Yahweh Shemal Shai. That's who you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are. That's who you are. Biblical uh, um, DNA, man. Whether you like it or not. Hey, hey, that's what Esau has done. Taking that away from us. And the rest of these nations. They have uh, held hands with this devil. It says that the name of Israel, Yashra Allah, may be no more in remembrance. How people don't know who the hell they are. They think they black. They think they African American. I just I just seen a post on Facebook, and yeah, and also they think they Mexican because they is this the whole the whole tribe the whole nation, man. All right, think they Mexican, think they Native American, think they Dominican, and nigga, a, a fight your ass to the death for, for that, man. Hey, man, slip up and call a Mexican Puerto Rican. He, hey, that the nigga be ready to put your ass to death, but they ain't even who you are. You're not neither one, <laughs> dumb nigga. You're an Israelite. All right, a people are. Hey, our people are, are, are just gone. They vexing, man. But I seen this post uh, on Facebook, and this dude, like, you know, somebody made a post, or whatever, and said uh, an African American is an African that was born in America, and an African is is a is a uh, African that's born in America. Nigga, we're not African. You are an Israelite, man. Niggas, it's all, all this information going out. You got you got the main topic that's on the table right now. Who are the Israelites? Who who are the real chosen people of the Most High? And you niggas still talking about y'all Africans? That's why the Lord is gonna destroy you, man. It's the main reason. You a you a, hey man. People are revolted and gone. You're gone. You ain't trying to come back to the Lord. You ain't trying to. Hey, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You ain't trying to get no knowledge. You ain't trying to get no understanding. So that's why you're gonna die a horrible, grievous death. From the hands of Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. It says, uh, yep. It says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee with one consent to come up against you, to hate you, to be your enemy. But you want to save them. But you want to love them. But you want equality. When they don't want equality for you. Esau don't Esau don't want you niggas on his on his level, man. Hey, haven't you got that by now? How, how dumb are you, man? It says, The tabernacles of Edom, the so-called white man, and the Ishmaelites, these these uh, uh, Arabs, all right, and they always up in your gas stations, all right, a, 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 giving you giving you the the the, uh, the pork and shit, man. Giving you a feeding your feeding your little kids them little fifty cent juices and all that all that candy, all these things just to deteriorate and destroy our people as as a whole, man. And they do it all. And they love to do it. They they they, they taking they take joy and, and, and licking the sores of Jake. They love to do it. A Moab and the Hungarians, Jabal, uh, and Ammon. All right, the Japanese Moabites, man. All right, the Japanese, these uh Chinese people. They want to keep our people down. They want to keep their foot on, on on our people's necks. You know, all these nations have, have taken a part in the downfall of the nation of Israel. It says. Uh, what nation have not had a part in, in, in her spoils? Every nation has had a part in our spoils, man. You can't name one that ain't did it. You can't name one that has not come uh, uh, with, with that one consent to destroy us as a nation. You can't name one of them. It says Jabal uh, and Ammon and Amalek, all right, which are you small headers, the chief house of the nation of Israel. You small headers, you 1948ers, who are really the ones who calling the shots, man. We're the ones who got all this shit going on right now. Y'all the ones that funded those slave ships. Y'all did that. Okay? Y'all the ones that, that, that really want, want to keep us down and keep us destroyed. Because you want to say that you the people. When you ain't the damn people, man. And the Lord is going to destroy you. Okay? And he's only going to save his people. <laughs> which is the nation of Israel. Chiefly, the elect. Matthews 24 and 30. Only the elect are going to be saved. Everybody else is going to die. And the rest of you heathens are going to go into uh, are going to go into slavery. Your kings, your rulers, you're going to be round up and you're going to go into slavery, man. All of you. 
It says the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre are you damn Africans? You real Africans because we ain't no we ain't no Africans, man. So-called Negroes are not Africans, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Haitians are not Africans, man. You stupid. But hey, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our people are sodded children. You want to be all these other nations. You want to save all these other nations, and they don't want to save you. In fact, they want to keep you down. They want to keep you destroyed. Ashur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot Salah. So all of these heathen nations want to keep us down and want to keep us destroyed. And they are the enemies of Yahweh Shemal Shai. So the Lord does not love them and the Lord will not come to save them. Huh? Saying Ezra 6. And whatever your past is telling you that hey, that nigga is a damn demon. He's a liar. He's a devil. All right. Just like Esau Edom, the one that set him up. Second Ezra 6 and 54. <clears throat> Salaki. It says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also, whom thou hast chosen, who Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has chosen, a people that is chosen above all other nations, a special people that is above all other nations. Okay. Deuteronomy seven and six. It says. For thou art in holy people. And who, who's this whole book rolling to? The Israelites. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. It says, For thou art in holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee. <laughs> he has chosen thee. Not the whole world. Not every nation. And the Lord does not change, man. Malachi uh, 3 and verse 6. Yahweh Shai does not change. That's in the book of Hebrews. The same power forever. The same guy here forever. The same mindset forever. Loving the nation of Israel and hating all the rest of the other nations, man. It says, Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto himself a special people. If you if, if you if you got a particular video game controller that you love to play with, all right, all the other video game controllers don't mean shit. They're nothing to you. They're just backups. You're never going to need them. They don't matter. That's how you other nations are. You don't matter to the Lord. You're backups. You're nothing. You're the dust of the balance, as it says. We are the real prize. We are the real substance. It says, and chiefly the elect. It says, above all people, above, up, above, up, over, all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord did not come to save all people. He did not he does he does not love all people, man. He has one particular people that he puts above everybody else. And how does he feel about all the rest of them? Second Ezra 6 and 55 says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Okay? That is a possessive word, our. This is for our sakes. The world is for us. It says, as for the other people. So, hey, for the other people outside of the nation of Israel, outside of Yashra'ala, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. So, you other nations are nothing. You're shit. You're, you're the dirt. You're, the, you're less than the dirt of the ground. You're nothing, man. Since thou hast said uh, they are nothing. But be like unto spittle. When you spit something out of your mouth, you want to get rid of it. It's nothing to you. What, what is this, man? <laughs> you know? Spitting some shit out of your mouth, hey, you, you don't care about that. It says, and has likened the abundance, the abundance, all of them, every last one, the whole, the whole package of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So a drop of water. The, the abundance of these nations are likened to a drop of water. And you niggas, you niggas think that the Lord came to save everybody. Where is that in the Bible? Oh, just because you're reading it for, for face value. John 3 and verse 16. Wow, that's all you got? <laughs> Come on, man. All uh, neither the Jews nor the Greeks. Where the history at? The reason why the reason why that was said was because the Israelites were driven amongst all nations. So hey, hey, that, that means that there is no difference between the Israelite that's calling himself a Jew and the actual Israelite, man. 
the, 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 the Israelite who knows that he's a Jew. That's what I mean to say that the Israelite who doesn't know that he's a does, doesn't know that he's an Israelite and the Israelite who knows that he's an Israelite. You're all Israel. You're all Israel, man. And you're and, and you all have a potential chance of being saved. Not every nation on the planet Earth. This is um Tobit 13 and verse 3. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, the heathens, ye, ch ye children of Israel, for he have scattered us among them. So this is why we are to confess uh, um, among the Gentiles. This is why that, that was said, man, because we were scattered amongst all nations of people. The Maccabees happened. Okay, when Antiochus was empowered. The Greek, Antiochus, the Greek. Okay, why why didn't the Lord say that there there is no difference between the the Hamite and, and and the Jew? Why why is that not written? Why is that not there, man? <laughs> because we were uh, we were under the Greeks at that time. All right, between between the time uh, um, you know before the time of Yahweh Shai was on the scene, we were under those Greeks, under those Edomites, following their ways. And guess what? It was against the law to call yourself a Jew, a Israelite. It was against the law to keep the law, established commandments of the Lord. Or what? You would be put to death. Men were being tormented in horrible fashions because you didn't eat swine's flesh. Because you were an Israelite. And said, I'm not going to break the law, established commandments of my power. Yahweh Bashem al -Shah. So this is why I said, man. But Jake just don't get it. And that's fine. Because it ain't meant for you to get. It's only for the elect. The elect are going to understand that the Lord only came for, for, for one particular nation. And that's the nation of Israel. And we praise the Lord for that because we don't give a damn about these other nations because they don't care about us. And they never will. Hey, when, when, he, when, he, when, hey, when your bosses come in, your bosses come in, man, all they want your ass to be doing is working. Working, making more money for them. And they, they ain't giving your ass no raises. They ain't, they ain't, man, these motherfuckers ain't giving you a pat on the back because they don't care about you, man. You're nothing to them. You're, you're nothing to them, but you want to be, but 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 you want to be everything to them, man. This is a uh, second Ezra six and verse fifty seven. It says, "And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us, because hey, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our people don't know Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Our people want to be these heathen nations. They want to be." Game bangers and finesses and killers and just idolaters following another way that, that, that you ain't supposed to be following. So the Lord put these other nations over us to devour us and keep us at the bottom, but it's only for so long because we rising back up. We know who we are now, man. The elect know who they are now. So a hey, Esau kingdom is falling. It says, but we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, thy fervent lover. Are given into their hands. So the Lord loves us only. If the world now be made for our sakes. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? And as I said. Because hey, we hey, we sin against the Lord. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. We didn't keep these laws. Such as commandments. So the Lord had these heathens stomp us out. Put us in servitude man. So let me get this. And I'm going um, I'm to close it out. This is a uh, Malachi, uh, it's like a Matthews one, Matthew one and twenty one, it says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people, his people, his people, from their sins, one nation. And what and what tribe did the Lord come out of, man? And the Lord just ain't coming to save one tribe. His people. He's coming to save his whole nation. Which, hey, I'm, I'm going to grab one more after this. Uh, let me see. Yup. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, sprang out of Judah. Which, what, what, what tribe, what, what is Judah? What is, what is uh, the nation, what is the tribe of Judah? All right. A member, a tribe of the nation of Israel. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning concerning priesthood. So, Yahweh Shai came from the tribe of Judah, which makes him an Israelite, which makes <laughs> the only people who can be saved by him is the nation of Israel. 
Point blank, period. And this is the dagger. Acts 5 and 31. Acts 5 and 30. It says, The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree on that cross. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Not the whole world, not every nation, not everyone that believes on the Lord, their sins shall, shall be forgiven. No, man. Only the nation of Israel that believes on, on, on the only begotten son of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, will be saved. The elect of that nation will be saved, man. Not the whole world. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Chakurash, that will honor to our elders and apostles of Great Mule Center do it well. Citations and blessings to you, Akim, that I push in this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom, wa ababa ball.